Hi, we're BFOL, brother fans of Lego, here today with a Lego The Hobbit The Desolation of Smaug sets. This is set number 79011, Dolgaldor Ambush. It has 217 pieces from the year 2013, so the second release year of Lego The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets. And... Hmm, Let's see, costs $20 in the US. As you can see here, we have a giant rock structure, two extra skulls, one catapult, one extra flick missile, tell you about that in a moment, and three exclusive minifigures, one being way more exclusive than the two others. First up here, we have the exclusive one, Bjorn, the skin changer. He can turn into a bear. He has an exclusive head mold here, exclusive for him. Body print and leg print is very good. And I ripped off his legs. Okay. Back print, also very good. There's how his head looks like on the inside. He also has an axe, four bladed, I mean four sized pole, and gunmetal gray blade. So very nice figure there. Next up we have two Gundabad orcs. One thing I just noticed is that if you take off their exclusive to this set hair pieces, they're just the normal Gundabads you can get in any set, just with different weapons. Talking about those exclusive figures for a moment. We have their hair pieces are new and only to this set. You can get them in a few different colors like uh, olive green and dark tan for some other different orcs, but this is the only one you get them in butterscotchy nougat. So here, this one here has a flail, mace, and body print and leg print is good. Back print is also good. He also has a, a few gray lines of hair there, uh, even under his hair. So it's same old kind of bad work, just with hair piece and his head there. And um, this one just has an urukai sword and uh, the standard armor, and once again the hair piece. So. Almost the same fig, just one has armor and a different weapon than the other. Alright, next up we have a catapult. This is a, like a double feature catapult. A minifigure can pick it up here from the back, lift it up, carry it along, or push it. It can shoot two different barrels individually and has wheels so it can roll. It's a nice extra thing. You can also shoot these two spare skulls included in the set from it or just have them laying loose around. Then we have a spare flick missile, which once again it's the exact same rel relatively common flick missile with the brown cone. You can get this one in a lot of different sets. So far, three from what I've seen. Alright, now I'll just take all this and bring in this thing. Now we have a giant Dogledore entrance. All three Dogledore sets, the Witch King Battle, Dogledore Battle, and this set Dogledore Ambush can all be combined to create a giant three model Dogledore. Yike. Also, Dogledore sets are awesome for getting butterscotchy nougat longer spikes here. So, there's a torch on this side, a tree here with some maroon leaf pieces, and a dead vine over here. It's a nice thing. There's also some Technic pins over there to attach to the Witch King battle. Okay, so on the way of action features, this thing is chock full of them. So first off, this entire thing will open up, revealing a spike there, and a flick missile launcher to take out Bjorn or anyone else trying to break into Dogledore. That's a nice little feature, except that the flick missile is exposed there. But really, it's not too bad next to that light gray brick. Next up, for anyone who gets past that and still tries to get through, there are these things. Yeah, you get chopped and bashed, so I'll show you that from the back. They're on turntables and some silver tooth spike Technic pieces, so you turn it and some axes will come through and chop someone, and then this giant hammer will come through and crack their heads off, bash them really hard. So, they're, like I said, chock full of action features and traps, and I love sets that are full of traps. And that's it. It's such a small thing for $20, but it is so great. And here's the manual. Awesome. Alright, so we have 54 pages of buildable parts. One page of parts. Dogledore Battle. See, there is it being combined with Dogledore Ambush, the set we just reviewed. So that's how it will look. And here's Dogledore Battle, soon to be reviewed. 
Here's Merkwood Elf Army, really soon to be reviewed. Lake Town Chase, also soon to be reviewed. Then we have, ha, huh, finally, no scribbles, but a little tear there, that's fine. A checklist of desolation of small stuff. Up oh, there's the stuff we just reviewed. But I don't see the other work. Oh, there he is. And then, classic kid is the product feedback. So that's it. Bye for now, and be sure to subscribe to Boffle, brother fans of LEGO, and be sure to check out more Lord of the Rings and Hobbit set reviews as they are posted.